are evil scientists that experiment on themselves, but then there are scientists that experiment on themselves that are seemingly more crazy than evil. We're gonna leave room for all of them in today's list. Here are your top 10 evil scientists who experimented on themselves. In our number 10 spot, we have Johann Conrad Dippel. Dippel was a scientist that is known for creating the elixir of life, an elixir that, yes, would keep you living for as long as you would like. It was called Dipple's Oil. He tried to trade the elixir for Frankenstein's castle once. Obviously, the owners didn't fall for it. Or at least they didn't believe in its worth. But I bet you're wondering, why was he thought to be so evil? Well, probably because he used to experiment on himself and dead bodies. And he claimed that he even transferred the soul of one body to another, even though no one could ever confirm this as the bodies were, well, deceased. He also claimed to have a way of releasing demons from bodies. Man, I wonder if that's documented anywhere. We can all use an exercise for releasing demons, you know what I mean? In our number nine spot, we have Jack Parsons. Jack Parsons is known for being a rocket scientist, but also a follower of the occultist Aleister Crowley. He is believed to be someone who was in direct contact with the devil and did experiments, aka spells, on on himself. He was the reason for the advancement of liquid fuel and solid fuel rockets. He was unable to continue being a scientist when news of his occult ways became public knowledge. Apparently, he worked with the founder of Scientology, L. Ron Hubbard, to summon the god Babylon to Earth. He died in an at-home explosion from an experiment that he was doing. Jack is a tricky one because obviously everyone was so Christian and Catholic back then that they would have thought him to be evil, but I don't know. I really wonder if this is one of those cases where, you know, they were wrong and maybe he was just a nice guy. I don't know. In our number eight spot, we have the Tuskegee scientists. The scientists that participated in this experiment are legit pure evil. There was a study done called the Tuskegee study where 600 African American males, 399 who were suffering with syphilis and 201 who weren't, and these men were being tricked into thinking that they were being treated for the illness, when really, they were dying off, except the ones that didn't have it, of course. They were the success stories, of course. But what was the purpose of this? Well, to study their corpses. They couldn't have thought to just ask them if they could study their bodies once they die. Why did this happen, and even for as long as it did, which was 40 years, from 1932 to 1972? So evil. Reparations were eventually paid to the victims of the study, but nothing could make up for the horrible feeling they must have felt from going through that experience. In our number seven spot, we have Dr. Sigmund Rascher. This is a scientist that needed to be mentioned because of how evil he was. However, it is unclear as to whether he experimented on himself at all throughout his life. Rasher is considered one of the most evil scientists in the world from World War II. He worked at a camp and apparently experimented on 300 unwilling people in high altitude freezing experiments. Victims were locked in a pressure chamber where the altitude was being continuously adjusted and they would feel as if they were falling out of a plane. He would also place them in freezing environments naked to perform tests. Of course, this led to many deaths. He was asked to do this on monkeys, but demanded humans. Clearly a very sick and awful man. In our number six spot, we have Shiro Ishii. There is a man that is known as Surgeon General Shiro Ishii, and he was a scientist and medical officer for the Japanese Imperial Army. In fact, he led the biological warfare unit that is known as 731. He's also known for being just plain evil as he would experiment on Chinese prisoners and regular civilians. He used biological weapons that is said to have caused tens of thousands of deaths, including the bubonic plague, cholera, and anthrax. He would also conduct other evil experiments on his patients, including forced ab 
and simulated hypothermia. It is unclear if he experimented on himself as I'm sure he wouldn't have given himself the bubonic plague, but it is clear that he was very, very evil. In our number 5 spot we have Max Joseph von Pettenkofer. Max was a scientist that wasn't so much evil as he was seemingly insane as he did an extremely risky experiment on himself. Apparently in 1892 he wanted to disprove the theory that cholera bacteria alone was the cause of the disease. In the presence of witnesses, Max swallowed some broth with a large dose of cholera bacteria. He apparently also consumed some sodium biocarbonate to neutralize the acids in his stomach after it was suggested that the acid could kill the bacteria. Apparently he suffered only minor symptoms and what he did experience he says wasn't due to the bacteria. To me he just sounds like he was either a little insane or just so sure of himself that it wasn't a risk at all. And even then I would say to be that sure of yourself to take that big of a risk means you have to be a little insane. In our number 4 spot we have Klauberg, another man who is known to be one of the most evil scientists in the world. Klauberg was a scientist in World War II that started off experimenting on himself but then eventually switched to experimenting on a large amount of women in camps and what was his purpose? Oh, to sterilize them all. He apparently experimented on hundreds injecting formaldehyde into their stomachs without any painkillers as well as it is said that he also injected animal sperm into some of the women to see if he could create an animal human hybrid. Absolutely horrifying. In our number 3 spot we have Joseph Mengele, another German scientist from World War II that was said to have had evil intentions. He weirdly had an interest in young humans and twins and a lot of his experimentation was around them. The most disturbing thing about him was his ability to seem so kind and charming and have everyone like him, but then in the next moment he would be the reason a bunch of people were sentenced to death. A true psychopath and it's the seemingly kind ones that always leave you with shivers. He has a nickname and is known as the Angel of Death. In our number 2 spot we have Peter Neubauer. In the 60s and 70s a secret experiment was done led by a scientist by the name of Peter Neubauer that separated twins and triplets from each other and they were adopted as singles. Apparently this experiment was funded by the National Institute of Mental Health and the purpose of this experiment is still unclear. To separate living humans from their family all for the sake of science is truly just evil in my opinion. The experiment was discovered in the 80s after three identical brothers accidentally found each other. I can't even imagine what that must have felt like to be them. I suppose this experiment isn't as horrible as some of the other ones we have listed today, but it still is terribly sad to think about all of these people, you know, missing out on growing up with their brothers and sisters. It is unclear whether Peter's decision to lead this was part of his job and therefore through slight force, as it was being funded by a big organization, or whether he pushed for this to be done. In our number one spot, we have Vladimir Demikov. So, this is, in my personal opinion, one of the most evil scientists, but honestly, there's so many evil ones on this list that it's really hard to say who should take first. So, I'm giving it to Vladimir Demikov. Vladimir is a Soviet scientist that is known for performing the evil act of beheading many dogs and then re sewing them onto other dogs' bodies. He did this for 15 years. Why? Oh, because apparently he was bored. Apparently, he was known to experiment on himself and also he pioneered organ transplants, which is just so hard to digest that he could have been the founder of something that has done so much good for the world, while on the other hand, he committed unthinkable evil acts. Life is so strange. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for good vibes and more content like this. I'm Melissa Milotti, your host. Follow me on Insta and YouTube at Melissa Milotti and I will see you next time. Have a good day, sir.